reaction and today my video starts with the question what has three arms and spits? Of course it's a fidget spinner and that's my topic for today. First of all here's a crazy experiment that you can try. You need four spinners and six magnets. But make sure the weights in your fidget spinner are metal and that your magnets are pretty strong. But let's do it! I'm making a giant fidget spinner. You'll need to put two magnets on each of the arms like this and then add the other fidget spinners. And give it a spin. There's not anything too scientific about making a giant fidget spinner, but it's fun to experiment. Now to my next experiment, where things get a little more scientific. I call it chain reaction. I need three spinners and nine magnets. Three magnets on each spinner like this. And then give this one a gentle spin. The magnets attract and repel each other, so when two get near, they repel, sending this one in the other direction to do the same thing with this one, and it just repeats. Now let's take a closer look at a fidget spinner and take the caps off. See these little metal things? Those are the ball bearings of the fidget spinner. Those are there to help make your fidget spinner to spin faster and longer by helping reduce the friction in the metal. Now I'm going to do an experiment that makes a little magnet go for a walk. I'll need a fidget spinner, seven small round magnets, and a cylinder, but I've used a cork. Put two of the magnets on each of the arms of the fidget spinner. And put this one down by the cork. Next flip it over and put it on top of the cork. Give it a spin and the little magnet should follow around. The magnets want to stick together so the little one follows it around. Now here's how to make a pencil balance for the fidget spinner. All you need is a pencil with a rubber band on the end and a spit fidget spinner with the caps off. Put it on the pencil and give it a good spin. like a spinning top because it uses angular momentum to stay straight. An even better version of this would be a gyroscope. One of these. Even if it tilts or wobbles, it still stays straight and tall until of course it runs out of spin. Thanks for watching and remember, more cool experiments it's coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe to the What Now YouTube channel. Please leave any comments or questions below. Goodbye!